What's going on, good people? Welcome to the show. My name is Troy Allen. You are watching Troy Allen Live. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about some technical stuff. Um, this is what you see on the screen over here is the Elgato Stream Deck. Elgato Stream Deck is a tool for those of us who do live streaming where we can actually, instead of uh, using our mouse or our keyboard to bring up the different assets, different scenes, um, and when I say asset scenes, it's like pictures or graphics or sound effects. You can simply use the Elgato Stream Deck, and it makes your life a lot easier, and it's a beautiful thing to do. I have the, uh, that's the one picture there is actually the, um, is just the regular size, the mini, which has 15 buttons, and then the one I use is the, the big boy has a few more buttons. All right. And let me see where you can turn it right there. So what happens, what I, what has been happened to me more often lately than before when I'm getting ready to push a button to bring up an asset, to bring an actual scene out is not responding. And you know, that's, and guess what? It seems to happen at the most, uh, at the worst times <laughs> possible when you're trying to get the scenes and everything ready for your show it seems like that's when it seems to happen or if it happens during your show when you're trying to push push the assets and it doesn't work so for example the assets are working today because let me take this uh i'm gonna clear this one off and then send it over all right so that cleared that off and then i'm going to take this one off uh, my other camera and then there is just me. So it's working now, but a problem that I've found is that sometimes uh, it does not work. There's no response. I Googled some stuff. I looked up some stuff and I, I, I couldn't find an answer. Some people said, well, you just unplug the um, unplug the actual stream deck from unplug the stream deck from the system. Uh, other people were saying that that what you do is you you turn the computer off and and that should hopefully fix it. But I tried all those things and it didn't work. Oh, by the way, I use the Wirecast streaming system, a streaming software. So I'm sure this fix will apply to Wirecast. I know it applies to Wirecast because that's what I use. And I'm sure it'll apply to OBS or whatever streaming software you use. I'm just curious. Tell me in the comments, what streaming software do you use? OBS is a very popular one because OBS is free. Uh, however, OBS has uh, has a little more uh, work involved to it. Wirecast, uh, of course, costs, uh, but I like Wirecast. And I think the biggest one out there right now is StreamYard. And uh, I don't know if, if there's an actual plug in for the stream deck for stream yard yet. But anyway, back to what we're talking about. Let me share with you all my screen and I want to show you all what's going on. So in the event you find one second. All right. In the event you find that your um, stream deck is not responding. Here's what I found the solution to be. All right. So what I found is what you go to your actual, go to this page on windows, whatever this page is, and you pull up your stream deck. You open that up. Where are you? You open up the software. All right. There we go. There we go. There's our stream deck software. You'd open up the software and um, I use Wirecast. Uh, people use it also for YouTube, um, uh, Stream Deck, uh, sound. you can use a soundboard for your different sounds. Um, it's, really, it's really a beautiful tool for people who are doing live streaming. You know, you know when you hear the air horns, those guys, they have their air, air horns or the gunshots. Um, those are usually they're using 
more often than not, they're actually using the stream deck. But anyway, you find yourself in the stream deck deck is not responding. What I found the answer to is you go up here, you hit that little icon there, and then you go to plugins. All right. And it loads all the different plugins and I'm using Wirecast. So what I do is just do a search and put in Wirecast. And once I do that, the Wirecast video plugin pops up. What I do is I, un I uninstall it. All right. Don't turn anything off. I just hit uninstall and then wait a couple seconds and hit install. All right. And once you do that, it is reinstalled and this fixes the solution uh, or the problem. This is the solution to the problem of when you hit that bad boy and it is not responding for you, which is uh, which is a scary thing to happen, especially when you uh, are, are live or getting ready to go live. A couple other cool things I want to show you about the stream deck while we're here is it allows you to add um Another, it allows you to add uh, a set of screensaver, all right, which is pretty cool because that allows you to put that on your screen. So see how my, my screen is kind of just just has the buttons right there, but you can actually add a screensaver. So when, um, say, when you're in the process of, um, let me just add something. Let me add, uh, just find a screensaver. Let me put let me put this uh <laughs> let me add this. <laughs> and so you add the screensaver and the sleep time, uh sleep after I'm set to five minutes. And so about five minutes this should go off and then you you will see the screensaver. But while that we're waiting for that to happen, another important thing to do with the Elgato Stream Deck is make sure that you check for updates and how you check for updates. Once again, you go into that little cog there and you hit check for updates and it says, okay, this one is updated to the latest, greater, greatest version of stream deck. And that's all it is to it. That's a simple solution. As far as when you find yourself, one second, let me, Make myself bigger here. All right, bam. All right, so a simple solution when you find yourself in a situation where that Elgato Stream Deck is not responding. Don't unplug your computer. Don't unhook the USB or disconnect the actual Elgato stream deck. What you do is go in there real quick to the software that's on your computer. And you can do that while you're live. Like I just did it while I'm live now, uninstall stream deck right quick. And then five seconds later, reinstall it. And then you'll find that your keyboard is actually, actually working. All right. Uh, stream deck is a beautiful tool, be beautiful tool to use and encourage you all to consider it if you have not used if you do not use them use a the stream deck it makes life easier and here's the thing you can do everything on a stream deck you can actually do on your keyboard and your mouse you know but when you're running your live stream you got so much stuff going on you don't want to be looking for stuff and, and looking for different sounds you just want to hit that button bam and you have the sound you have the things that you that you um that you need if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Um, it's very important as we upgrade, as we do our thing online as content creators to make our workflow as easy and as simple as possible. And this is what the Agato Stream Deck does because you all know we got a whole lot of things. It seems what could go wrong usually does go wrong. But Elgato Stream Deck is one less thing you have to worry about unless it freezes on you and when it freezes on you you know what you have to do please like the video please give me a comment uh in the comment box tell me what you think tell me what 
software you use for your actual live streaming. Do you guys have the Elgato, or do you do you use the um, fifteen button one, or do you have the what's how many buttons is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times five. Well, that's about, well, four. About 35. What do you do? You, you use the big boy with about 35, 35 buttons on it. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Live, love, laugh. Love yourself. Be nice to others. Have a nice day. And maybe just maybe may see you around the way. Later, y'all.